Hello everyone, it's Dan Toombs, the curry guy here, and today I'm going to show you how to do tandoori chicken in your house. You don't need a tandoor. Tandoors are great, uh, especially, you know, the indoor ones and the outdoor ones. I love having them. Uh, they're, they make life a lot easier. But this is a quite an easy recipe and you can do it in your house and it'll taste just like it's been made in a tandoor. Um, so I'm going to start here. This, this is a marinated chicken, chicken um, thighs which are on the bone. And the marinade for this, um, you can find it right here. Um, I did it with some uh, tandoor for some tandoori partridges I did a little while ago. So it's the exact same marinade. And today's more about how you get that flavor, that tandoori flavor. So I'm going to put one piece in there. And the trick is to get as much of the marinade off as you can. You don't have to be silly about it, but you do want to get as much as you can off. So it's not cooking onto there. So I got that one a little bit. Of, I'm only gonna cook about three at a time. And the reason why I do that is because the uh, chicken will release water and it will, so it won't fry properly. So you wanna fry it so it gets a really nice color to it. And when that happens, when you get that nice color and it cooks through, then you take it off and cook a little bit more. So you do it in batches, uh, depending on the size of your pan. But just don't over, just make sure you don't overcrowd your pan. Um, I didn't put any salt on these, so I'm going to put a little tiny bit right now just to so it cooks there. And um, so we'll come back in just a little bit after this has been cooked through. It's because it's kind of boring watching me cook the whole thing. So um, we'll wait till those are cooked through, and then we'll um, show you how to uh, get the tandoori thing going. All right, so we're back. And as you can see here, I have cooked all my chicken. I've got uh, seven uh, chicken, bre uh, chicken thighs there, all cooked through completely. And now what I've done is I have some uh, lumpwood charcoal, which I um, lit up outside. I'm going to put that, I've made a little well here in the center. And I'm just going to put it right there. And then to make it smoke up, I'm going to pour just a tiny bit of oil on it. As you can see, it's starting to smoke. And now we are just going to let that chicken smoke there for about 10 minutes. It's just going to keep, it's going to fill the, the um, pan up with a uh, smoke. When the smoke subsides, then you know that it's going to be nice and smoky. And it's, uh, as you can see, if you look down at it, it's really nice. Uh, this is some cherry wood, lump wood co uh, charcoal. You're not going to get that at any curry house. Uh, so it is actually quite special. It's really nice. So you get to go for the best lump wood charcoal you can get. You can use uh, briquettes if you'd rather. Um, but uh, the lump wood charcoal just really see it tends to give it a really nice natural flavor. And um, so we're just going to let that smoke. and. Um, once it's uh, done smoking, about 10 minutes, I'm going to come back for a taste test. All right, so it's been 10 minutes and um, the, the, the charcoal, I'm sure, has done its job. Now, one thing I do want to say, if you're going to do this at home, if you use uh, lumpwood charcoal, you probably won't get as much smoke as if you use briquettes. A lot of times briquettes have been treated, so that's why they, they smoke a little bit more. And uh, you will get better uh, flavor, smoky flavor, with um, the lumpwood, but charcoal will still work very well. So this, like, I, I don't know if I mentioned this, but this, this recipe is in my new book, The Curry Guy Easy. Um, you can leave out the lump wood charcoal bit. You can just fry the, um, fry the chicken and eat it as it is. So you, you don't have to put it on a barbecue. You don't have to put it in a tandoor. You just do it in a pan. It's going to be very, very good. But right now, as you can see, that's kind of still smoking a little bit. I'm just going to take this out. Let's see. Mm. I'm telling you, that is spot on. That is so good. Smoky. That's the flavor of the marinade. I marinated it for about two days. You can get away with three hours, but I like to do it longer. Um, Absolutely awesome. Anyway, we have a mess here. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you uh, subscribe to my channel. I've got lots more videos on the way from both my first book, second book, and even a few from the third that is coming up. So I uh, hope to see you back, and thank you very much for watching.